Forget every single piece of armor and equipment you have, this combo is literally going to take you from a basic viking warrior and turn you into an unstoppable Norse god. Now I am talking about the Fallen Hero armor set and the one-handed Blazing Sword. The Fallen Hero armor, which in all honesty reminds me of the X-Men character the Juggernaut, will drop a pulse bomb whenever you take a single hit. The Blazing Swords perk when locked on and using a light attack will throw out an energy projectile allowing you to hit your enemies from literally 50 feet away. Perfect if you've run out of arrows or if you just don't fancy getting up close and personal. But, and here's the hidden thing that not everyone knows about, if you combine the Fallen Hero armor and the Blazing Sword, a secret ability is activated. Not only will the armor drop a pulse bomb, it'll also drop a yellow ball of energy which when you interact with it, the Blazing Sword's energy projectile is going to double its damage output. You'll also see a special visual effect when combining the sword and the armor, but more importantly, you'll now be able to fire off 10 energy projectiles every 15 seconds, as opposed to the initial five if you're not using the armor. Now, if you own all the armor pieces and the sword, good for you. Get out there and start decimating your enemies. But if you don't, here's how you can get them. You are going to have to complete the Tombs of the Fallen challenges, which are hidden puzzles scattered throughout England, giving you armor as you go along, and the Blazing Sword will be waiting for you right at the end. If you've built your Ravensthorpe settlement, you'll be able to jump straight into these fun puzzles, so you can become incredibly powerful almost right at the beginning of the game. Do make sure at the end of these challenges, except in Ravensthorpe, you're not forgetting to pick up the small artifacts. Assassin's Creed Valhalla has been a little cheeky and not put these artifacts in the most obvious spots, so after the cutscenes from each tomb, potentially look for a new passageway that opens up and keep exploring until you eventually do find those small artifacts. The first four tombs listed will give you the Fallen Hero armor, and the final two tombs will actually give you two new weapons, the Togo Domus Bearded Axe and Vericus Sickle, which I wanted to mention, but they're not anything too special. Once you've completed the six challenges and grabbed the five artifacts, head back to the first tomb located by Ravensthorpe for one final challenge and to grab that blazing sword. In total, this is probably going to take you about eight to 12 hours depending on how quick you are at solving and the locations of the tomb challenges are as thus. The opening challenge and location of the blazing sword at the Manius Sanctum in Ravensthorpe, the Boudicca tomb in East Anglia, the Castlevanius tomb in Shropshire, the Venetus tomb in Eurashire, the Togodomus tomb in Sussex, and Vericus tomb in Hamptonshire. It's worth mentioning that if you can't spot the entrance to your tombs, you can use your best bird friend Sunan and you'll see a sort of green tornado in the sky, marking the entrance point of each challenge. Good luck out there, it is going to be one hell of a grind, but so worth that epic reward. Now what weapon you use in your other hand is entirely up to you, but personally, if you own the Gay Bulk Spear from the Wrath of the Druids DLC, I cannot think of any better weapon you can pair this with. And if you don't own this and you want to know how to get that one, just watch this next video.